Okay, we have here today an interesting integral from the MIT integration should be 2014. This is problem 20. We have the integral from zero to five pi over two, one over two plus cos x dx. Okay, the first thing I notice here is just this upper bound. They didn't make it easy on us here. Usually what you'll notice in trig integrals in most problems, they'll give us like pi over two or pi, something nice. This could be a problem, but we'll have to get to that later. So to get started with this, I just want to kind of focus on this denominator and how we're going to simplify this. This is actually the case where a lot of times we'll use the Weierstrass substitution, but I want to do it a little bit differently. I think I want to use the double angle formula for cosine here. So let's first, let's just look at that double angle formula. And in particular, there's a few different varieties on this. And what I'm interested in is this formula. And of course, you'll probably notice that what we have in the problem, we have cosine x, we don't have cosine 2x. Well, I can fix that pretty easily. Just what I can do is I'll input into here x over 2, and I'll do the same thing, inputting x over 2 over here. But then when you distribute in this 2, you notice now we have a formula to reduce cosine x to a half angle 2 cosine squared x over 2 minus 1. So we'll take this and we'll put this back into our problem, just rewriting everything. So when we do this, we have our dx. Then we'll have 2 plus this thing. This is going to give me 2 cosine squared x over 2 minus 1. But then let's just combine the 2 minus 1 and rewrite this. I'll just rewrite this over here as a 1. And now at this point, this doesn't really seem any better than what we started with. But actually, at this point, what I can do, we can use this trick where we multiply in by secant squared here. Just using, we'll use x over 2 for the angle again. So we'll have secant squared x over 2 secant squared x over 2. We'll just distribute everything in here. So rewriting in the numerator, we're just going to have secant squared x over 2 dx. Secant squared x over 2 multiplied by the 1, we're just going to get another secant squared x over 2. And then we multiply secant squared by cosine squared. Secant's just 1 over cosine, so these are going to essentially cancel here, and we're just left with this 2. But then now at this point on secant squared, I can use the identity here. I can use the identity tan squared plus one for secant squared. We'll just have that angle the same, x over two. So when I put this together and rewrite again, but now we'll take this and we'll input this into the denominator. So we're gonna have this tan squared x over two. We'll have plus one plus two, so we're gonna have a plus three over here. But now at this point, we're perfectly set up for a u substitution because we got tan in the denominator and the derivative tan is just secant squared. So let's see how this works. I'm going to do, we'll say u is going to be equal to tan x over 2. And then for our du, this is just going to give me all this stuff, secant squared x over 2 dx. But then we need the chain rule on this inner part here. So we're going to have a 1 half that we pull up front. Coming back to our problem, I want to set up this numerator to be exactly this. What I'll do is I'll multiply here by 1 half, but I don't want to change it. So we'll multiply by 2 in front. And then at this point, this is where the five pi over two is gonna rear its ugly head and cause us problems. Because the trouble is for tangent, the trouble is that tangent has a bunch of vertical asymptotes. There's a bunch of places where it's discontinuous. And, and one of those points between zero and five pi over two, we have pi in between there. Well, if you plug pi in here, you get tan pi over two. Tan of pi over two is going off to infinity. That's gonna be a problem. And now if you look at a graph of tan x over two, you just notice the only problem is gonna be that problem at pi. So everywhere else we're fine. So we just need to split this up into two integrals, breaking it up on pi. Okay, so now I've just left this on the board just for a moment so we can see how this is split up up here. So just notice that I've broken this now into two integrals, breaking it on pi here and here. Everything else is exactly the same as what we had down here. And just try to make it clear, I've written my upper bound here as pi minus just to show that we're approaching from the lower side below pi. And then over here we got pi plus to notice that we're starting this bound just above pi. So I'll get rid of this and we can go ahead with our substitution. So first we'll come over here and we'll just update our bounds using this one, plugging in pi minus. This is our normal situation if it's just like pi. When we plug pi in here, tan pi over two for that bound, we're gonna have infinity. And then plugging in zero, tan at zero is just zero. Then this numerator is just gonna be our du value. This here is gonna become u squared plus three, but I'm gonna write it as square root of three squared. Then coming over to our second integral, five pi over two. When you put five pi over two in here, you get tan of five pi over four. That's in the third quadrant. All the pi over fours are either one or negative one. The third quadrant for tangent is positive, so this is just gonna give me one for the upper bound here. 
And then here, taking pi from the plus side, putting it in here, we get tan pi over two from the plus side. That's actually gonna be minus infinity. And if you have any doubts on this, just look at a graph and you'll see that from one side it's approaching infinity and from the other side it's going to minus infinity. And then for all this stuff here, it's gonna be exactly what we have here on the left. But now we have an easy integral here in both cases. It's just gonna be the formula for arctan. So doing this, we're gonna have two, but we need to bring this out in the denominator here. So we're gonna have two over square root of three. This is gonna be arctan of u over square root of three. We need to evaluate from zero to infinity. And then for the next one, again, it's the same thing, two over square root of three arctan u over square root of three, and this one's gonna be evaluated from minus infinity to one. Okay, now let's just go ahead and evaluate this. So when we plug in infinity here, we're evaluating arctan at infinity over square root of three. Arctan at infinity is gonna be pi over two. So for this first piece, we're gonna have two square root of three times pi over two. Then for the second part, when we evaluate arctan at zero, this is just gonna be zero. Then coming over here to our second integral, we're gonna have two square root of three, Arctan of one over square root of three, that's just gonna be pi over six there. Then minus, we'll distribute in two square root of three. Then we'll have arctan at minus infinity, the square root of three won't change it. So arctan at minus infinity, that's just gonna be minus pi over two. And then let's just do a little cleanup. Over here, minus times minus is gonna give me plus. Cancel twos here, cancel twos here, cancel two with a six and we end up with three here. But now we just need to add everything together, but I wanna get a common denominator of three square root of three. So what I'll do is I'll write this first piece as three pi over three square root of three. Then for this next one, this is just gonna be, I'll just make it clear, one pi, three square root of three. And then this last one is gonna be just like this one, three pi, three square root of three. Three plus three plus one gives me seven pi over three square root of three. This is actually fine, but we'll try to match MIT solution. So I'll just rationalize this, multiplying by square root of three over square root of three. And so for my final solution, we're gonna get seven square root of three pi over nine. Okay, so there you have it. It wasn't that bad, but we just had to find a way to navigate the situation with the bounds. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.